We're going to start in seated this morning. So come to a comfortable seated position if you've got something to sit on. I have to keep track of the time this time because I always lose track. Let me just turn this a little bit so you can see. I think that's better. I always lose track of time. So if I do lose track of time or we've only done one side of the cool down, then just make sure you actually do the other side and give yourself a shavasana at the end. All right, come seated. Get really nice and comfortable. I suggest just putting one heel in front of the other so the bones aren't touching and you can get comfortable. And we'll ground the palms down on your thighs. Close your eyes. Soften your jaw. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and kind of just let the breath fall out of the mouth. Settle your physical self down into the floor. Starting to notice those thoughts, notice the emotions without becoming them. So easy to get wrapped up in the feelings inside our heads. So take this time on your mat to disconnect from that. Don't attach to the thoughts. Even a gentle reminder of, I am not my thoughts and help. Turn your awareness onto your breath. It's our greatest tool for letting go and releasing thoughts, emotions, stuck energy. We'll take a few deep breaths in silence together. In through the nose and out through the nose. Start to make that breath a little bit deeper, sending it down into the belly. that belly, the ribs, and the abdomen lift and fill with breath. Let go on your exhales. Feeling the shoulders kind of lift and separate on your inhales and then kind of sink back down on your exhales. Let's take three more deep, full breaths, feeling the breath lift the body, but also relax and soften the body. And now keeping that breath deep inside the belly, we we'll start to just do some lovely little neck rolls. Rolling the right ear for the right shoulder, then chin down towards chest and left ear to left shoulder. Very slowly from side to side, don't force anything. Just moving gentle. Make sure the legs are soft, toes are relaxed. guiding your neck back into center. We'll inhale, lift your arms up over your head, look up towards your connected palms. As you exhale, we'll twist to the left. Bring that right hand down to your left thigh, left hand behind you. Just look over that left shoulder, take a couple deep breaths in your twist. We're going to start to link some movement with breath here. Stay in your twist, but lift this left arm up towards the ceiling, then start to guide it over towards that right knee in front of the body. Inhale, bring it back in towards your twist, your gaze kind of going with that left hand. Then exhale, lift that left arm up and over towards that right corner of the room. Inhale, come back to your twist. Exhale, take it into your side hand. Right hand stays on that left thigh. Let's do two more here. In this next one, we're going to hold that left right hand over to that left hand on top of the right leg. Just take a couple deep breaths into that left side body. 
Now take your left hand and we'll grab onto that right knee and curl your chin down and towards your chest. Down right there. Good. Now take your We'll keep this right hand where it is. Just release. Left hand stays where it is. Right hand comes behind you. Left. My words are not there. Just look over the right shoulder. Like a real Sarah class where I don't know what I'm exactly saying. Okay, same movement, length of breath. Lift that right arm up and over. Left side body. Your inhale will bring you back into your twist, and your exhale will take you into your side bend. Inhale that right arm up and over. Exhale, right arm reaches over towards that left side. Let's do two more. You want to hold that right arm up into the side bend for a couple breaths. Left hand still grabbing a hold of that right thigh. Now take your right hand, grab hold of that left knee again, round and roll in, chin to chest, deep breaths into between the shoulder blades. And as you release up, we're going to cactus the arms and start to take them into a little back bend. Lift your chest, lift your gaze up towards the ceiling, squeeze the shoulder blades together now. Don't drop your neck back, but lift the chin up and stand open the vertebrae right in front of the neck. Release the hands, bring it on into your hands and your knees. Stack your wrists right underneath your shoulders, knees underneath hips. Let's roll for a couple rounds of cat and cow. Breathe in, lower the belly, lift your gaze, and look up. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Just follow your own breath. Take a few more rounds. Follow those deep inhales, deep exhales. This is the final hope that I can get my words through the rest of the practice. Come back up into that tabletop. We'll take the right leg out behind you. Flex your toes down towards the floor. We're going to keep the hands exactly where they are. We're just going to floss out the hips from here. So we're going to inhale and open the hips if you're going into that baby half moon. Then exhale. So just squeeze your thighs together. Send that right toe toward the left. And we'll move on to the left shoulder. Inhale, lift and open that right hip. Look down towards the right toes as they're lifted. Then exhale, squeeze your thighs together. Send that right foot towards the left. And look over the left shoulder. Breathing in to lift and open those hips up, look over right shoulder, exhale, squeeze the hips together, look over left shoulder. A couple more times, follow your own breath. Tuck that belly button towards the spine. One last time. Now bring that right leg back up into center, curl your left toes under, send it up and back towards three legged downward facing dog. Bend that right knee, open your hips up really nice and wide, pressing that left heel down towards the floor, just gently to stretch out the back of your leg. Look towards the top of your mat, step that right foot up, step your left foot up, coming into a forward fold. Interlace your hands, roll out your wrists, drop your head. Bend your knees a little bit, rock from side to side. Then drop your hands down to the mat. Inhale, lift the spine up halfway. Ground your hands into your shins. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Lift the chest a little bit. Gaze forward. Lift your heels up off your mat, balancing on the balls of your feet. Keep a nice flat back, belly button tucked into the spine. Gently drop your heels down from the floor, set your hips down, reach your arms up, coming into a chair pose. Spread the shoulders down your back, we're not just make your forearm to see where that strength is today. We'll take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift it up to your halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, take your hands to the floor, we'll just step the feet back down into our tabletop. Knees right underneath those hips again, wrist right up your shoulders, left leg extends back. We're going to inhale, open those hips up, look over the left shoulder. Exhale, squeeze the thighs together, extend that left foot over towards the right, and look over the right shoulder. 
Inhale, lift, open the hips, look over that left shoulder. Exhale, squeeze the thighs together, look over your right shoulder. Nice mini hip floss from here, breathing in and out, move at your own pace. Belly button's touching the spine, fingertips are spread really wide, a couple more. Thumb right at center with that left leg. Curl the right toes under, go up and back to your three-legged down dog. Make sure those fingers are spread wide. Bend your left knee. Start to snap your hips open. Press your right heel down. Breathing in this. Three-legged downward facing dog. Maybe sway your head and shake it out a little bit. And we'll take the gaze forward, step your left foot forward, step your right foot forward, coming back into your forward fold to flow through a sun sound. Inhale, lift and open your chest halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Rooting down through your feet. Inhale, open up the arms, stand all the way up, look at your hands, connect the palms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, flatten your back. Exhale, hands them on your mat. Step your feet to the back of the mat. I suggest you, uh, from the knees, our first head will go on top of the toes. Squeeze those elbows and touch the sides, chest, and chin down first. Inhale, come up into that baby cobra. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. We should be getting a little bit warmer now. We're going to inhale, pull forward to a high plank pose. Holding in that high plank pose, we'll circle the body and around a couple times in one direction. Just a little bit more of a stretch out to the wrists before we really get moving. Tuck your belly button towards your spine. Maybe you want to lift that right leg up. Just inch it off the mat and point your toes. That right leg's lifted. We'll put it down and circle the opposite way. Maybe lifting your left leg up off the mat, pointing the toes. Put that left foot back on the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your hips up the mat to hunt down your dog. Breathe in. Look forward. Exhale. Hop or step up to the top of the mat. Interlace your hands. Take them behind your head. Open your elbows out nice and wide. Sit your hips down. Lift up in towards your chair pose. Leave those elbows towards each other. Lifting and lowering the heels as an option. Open chest. Flat back. For three. Two. Last one. Inhale, stand all the way up. Bring the palms together. Look up towards the hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands on your mat. Hop or step back. Flowing through. Maybe a full chaturanga this time as you exhale. You bend those elbows in nice and flat to the back. Breathe in, lift up. Open into your back run. Exhale, down dog. Take a couple little pedals and shake out your head. Maybe flip one palm up, bring the back of the hand to the mat, switch out the wrist the opposite way. Now, just a gentle reminder, most of you know you can totally skip any of the power things that we're doing, the extra movements and the postures, and just hold the postures instead. Or you can join in. Inhale, we'll lift the right leg. Look forward, exhale, step the through to your hands. I'm going to keep this left hand right where it is and so you can reach the right arm forward. Turn your palm facing in. Move your body weight back and forth a couple times. Option to stay right here. And start to lift this left hand up off the mat and bring your left hand on top of your left thigh. Strong, deep breaths. You can also just hold the posture. No need to move through it. Three. Two. We're going to lift this left arm all the way up top into a full crescent lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, take that right arm back and down, left arm up and back. Option to lift and lower this left knee. One of my favorites right now. Three. Two. Last one, let's lift this left arm or right arm back up. We're going to straighten this right leg. Bring your left hand down towards the floor, right arm up. So now you've got both legs straight as an option. We're going to start to lift this left heel as high as we can and then gently lower it down towards the floor. Just a couple times to get an extra stretch. Really reach through those right fingertips. Bring that right hand down to the floor. Bend your right knee. Lift your left leg up, up into the air. Walk your hands forward. Lift and open your chest. 
Exhale, we're going to take those left toes, tap them over towards the right as far as we can get them. Inhale, lift that leg back up. Exhale, squeeze those thighs together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, that left leg over. Either just taking this little half hip floss movement, or we'll turn it into a little curtsy squat. If you're going to add on from there, you inhale, lift. Exhale, bring your knee to your back of your right knee, to the chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale, little curtsy squat, to the chest. Inhale, lift. Now, option to lift that right heel when you come into your little crunch and squat. Inhale, exhale. Next option would be to take your hands up off the floor while you're doing this. I'm not going to do that. Let's do two more. Last one. Keep this left knee behind your right knee. Put that right heel on the floor. We're going to lower this left knee down to the outside of your right foot. Lift your hands up in towards your prayer position if you can. And then we're going to take this left elbow and bring it over towards this right thigh. Okay, first option is to stay right here, working on your balance. Of course, first option is really just hands on the floor. Or we're right here working on our twist and our, our balance. Or I mean, you're at home in your living room, so we can work towards our balance. So if you're working towards that variation of side row, we're going to take the hands to the floor. They don't make it, you can kind of move that elbow out of the way a little bit and then bring it in. Your goal is to get both elbows on this right side. So spread those fingers out wide enough to get them to the floor. Lean forward, look forward, not down. Maybe one or both of your feet lift up off your back. Hold right there, looking forward, not down. If you're in your arm balance, hold for three, two. Last one. You can just put that shape back down on your mat. Bring your hands to the floor in front of you. Lift this left leg up and come into a forward fold. You need to take this right leg up and give a little shake. But if you're using a lot, grab your arms and elbows, a little dangle from side to side. Deep breath in through your nose, maybe side up through your mouth. <sighs> Rolling through a sun citation, let all that go, hands to the floor, breathe in, lift yourself up halfway, flatten your back, move your set the spine, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, sweep those arms with a little gap, exhale, to reverse fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, if you're down to that crow, don't back, go ahead, come into your crow, or just step in the feet back, lower down to your chair under the best way that supports you. Or skip into your child's pose. Breathe in, coming to that back bend. Exhale, up and back, down dog. Take a little bit of a reset, pedal up those heels, shake out your head, let that go. And then we'll have all that fun on the other side. Lift that left leg, deep breath in, look forward. Exhale, step that foot to the hands. You can stay right here, you don't have to do anything else. We'll keep this right hand on the floor, lift your left arm forward. Chest stays parallel to the back. Left palm facing in, we'll move the body weight forward and back a little bit. Stabilizing that left leg, belly button to spine. Using the core, especially if you're going to start to lift this right leg. No, this right here. Up off your mat and put it on your left leg. Deep, full breath. Three, two, pause and then press it. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, we'll take that left arm down and back, right arm up and over. And you felt that? And then press and then option to lift and lower this right leg. Breathing deeply. Three, two, one. Take your hands to the floor. We're going to lift this right leg up into the air. Deep breath in, walking the left hand forward. Exhale, bring that right hand over towards the left and up a little bit. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, take it to the left. Now, option to do that little bit of a squat right away so you're bending and straightening that left leg while you're moving the right leg in and out. Or you can skip that. You can totally just hold that right leg up in the air and work on your standing splits the whole time instead of adding the squat work. Grab it on. This right knee is coming in behind the left and you're squeezing the chin to chest. 
Your inhale lengthens you up. Your exhale squeezes you all the way in. Maybe you're going to start to lift and lower this left heel when you're squatting. So four more, so even it out. Deep, full, giant breaths through the back of the throat. Keeps you powerful. The last count. Let's start counting now. One, two, three. Last one. Squeeze that knee into the back. Hold it there. Land your left heel and then start to bring your right knee on the opposite side of that left heel. You stay here with your hands on the floor or slowly start to come into your balance against the heart. Twist towards that left side. Either stay right here, just working on balancing right there, or bring your hands to the mat down in front of you. So now bring your hands right underneath the shoulders and ground them on the mat. Lift that back knee a little bit so you can bring your left thigh on that left uh, elbow. Make a little shelf for your legs. Maybe lift them up off the mat. Maybe you want to lay straighten both legs and come into that variation of side crow. Look forward, not down. Play with where you are or balancing here for three, two. Last one, we're going to put those feet back down on the floor. Walk your legs in front. Lift this right leg, come back into your forward fold. Maybe shake up that left leg. We're going to line those feet up so they're right underneath the hips. Take your peace fingers around your big toes. First, you put your finger around big toes. Inhale, lift your spine up halfway. Exhale, forward fold, getting a stretch into the back of those legs we've been working. Maybe lift those hips. Maybe pull yourself down. Try to sandwich yourself so you look like one. I was looking at you from the side. Or you can take really lazy forward fold, kind of just shake out. Okay, we're going to hold right there for a couple breaths. Then releasing the hands, hop or step your feet out towards the back sides of your mat, pull those toes out and your heels in, and then come down into a squat pose. And bring those elbows in towards your knees, hands in the front center, holding right here in your squat. If you want to do a little work in your squat, lift your right heel, down, left heel, down. Up, down, up, down. Side to side, up and down. Five. Four, three, if you want to do two and one in your curl pose, go ahead, two, last one, then those heels, bring your hands behind you, walk yourself backwards, palms facing in, walk your feet till your hips distance apart, coming into our reverse tabletop, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your hips, maybe drop the head back if it's in your throat, practice. <clears throat> Least favorite pose, so I have to do it. Squeeze those shoulders, lift those hips, hold for three, two. Last one, we're going to put the hips down on the floor, walk those feet up, maybe point the toes, coming into a variation of bow pose. Option to leave your hands exactly where they are, or bring the hands down out along the legs, pull right there. If you want to add a little more of my manda in here, we'll inhale, exhale, legs in and then legs out. This is how I'm getting over missing all of my favorite teachers. I'm just teaching, practicing all the things they always teach. <laughs> Best thing ever. Two, three. Two. Last one. Bring your feet down to the floor, slow the feet together, knees it wide. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold, body hands. Taking a few deep breaths to start releasing our powerful practice and a little cool down with a tiny little bit more core forward. And sit up really nice and slowly. Bring your knees back to center, feet on the floor, put your hips forward, lower down on your back. When you take the hands underneath the lower back, palms facing down. 
Of course, often you just kind of stay here and lengthen the legs up. We'll take a candlestick variation. Or if you want to work on core a little bit more, we'll extend through the legs, activate those feet, flex them towards your face, spread the toes out wide. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, lower the right leg two inches from the floor. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, left leg down. Inhale, back up. So that's your second option, taking a little bit active, one foot at a time, lifting and lowering, keep those really smooth breaths. We'll roll with both feet at a time. Your exhale, lowering the heels down to hover, belly button squeezes towards spine, your inhale brings them back up. Push that lower back down into the mat so it doesn't leave the mat, no arms in that lower back, really using the core to control here. Use those smooth, deep exhales to the back of the throat. Spread your toes open really wide. Option to keep that lift and lower, or we're gonna hover those feet, tuck your chin, peel your head and your shoulders up off your mat. We'll just crisscross the feet, see if you can dip the shoulder blades right up off the mat. Here for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, long countdown, two, last one, squeeze those knees into your chest, rock a little bit from side to side, take a deep breath in your nose, exhale, let it go through your mouth. Roll back onto our backs, coming into happy baby pose. Grab the hold of your feet, inside the outside, or the big toes. Tuck your chin a little bit, just lengthen the back of the neck, and then rolling and rocking side to side nice and easily. Maybe you straighten out from one leg and rock one way, and through the other way, the other way. And if you have a regular practice and there's anything you love to do as you cool down, I'll just give you full permission and invite you to. Bust those things out in your living room or your kitchen or wherever you're practicing. If you want to do some of my favorite cool down things, we're going to hit that figure four twist up. We'll bring the right foot to the floor, cross that left ankle on top of the right thigh. Pick up your hips, send it to the left a little bit, and then roll those legs over towards that right side. Lengthen your left arm out, look over the left shoulder if you'd like. You grab a hold of that left side with your right hand, you can do a little pull down if you want. Well, if you'd like to, for a couple more moments in this twist, you can take your right foot and grab a hold of it with your left hand, and then guide that right foot over towards that left side. And then maybe, as long as that left shoulder can stay on the floor there, you're good. Maybe you want to grab a hold of the left foot with your right hand and lengthen that leg out towards the side. Hold that breathe in whatever variation you're in. Now, if you're on that breath operation, we'll release this left foot first. Catch your back up on that right foot, right thigh, and then come back to the center with the legs. Keep the legs crossed, and we'll cross that left leg right over top of the right, squeezing the knees into the chest like this. Either put the hands on top of the legs, or we'll grab a hold of the feet a little bit and come into our reclined uh, cow face pose. Option to lift those feet up and lie with the knees, find a little rocking side to side, to get a really nice stretch in those hips. And then releasing that, cross the legs the opposite way. We'll drop that left foot down to the floor, right ankle on top. Pick the hips up, something towards the right a little bit, and then drop the legs over towards the left. Left hand can anchor that right leg down, right arm up to the side, gazing over that right shoulder. Nice, full, deep breaths, inhale to the nose, cooling down and letting go. Forty minutes is not a very long time. 
need quite a few things in there, so just give yourself time. At the end of this practice for Shavasana, we're probably going to get cut off soon. So please honor the rest of the cool down if we do get cut off. If you took it into a more intense variation of that twist, lift this uh, left leg, so you can grab a hold of it with your right hand, but make sure you can ground that right shoulder back down on the mat again. If it's available, I'm not sure if this side I can, we'll grab the sole of that right foot and lengthen that leg out towards the side as well. If it's not available, let go. Few deep breaths. Releasing this right leg, take the feet back into that cover four position. Left foot on the mat, square your hips off, and then squeeze the thighs together. And I'll lift the knees up in towards the chest. Same option to just grab a hold of the knees or the feet. Maybe bring your feet up in line with your knees. Ooh, this side is way tighter for me. I like rocking from side to side on this side, but if you do, go ahead, breathe deeply into those hips. Just release your feet, or uncross them, squeeze your knees into your chest, taking one hand to each knee. Start to do those really lovely knee rolls in the same direction to get a massage down into your sink on the lower back. Lengthen out your breath. Opening the knees up, start to circle them in the opposite way. I don't know if you saw the quote that I put on the internet today, but it was that I started class with this morning. And keep trying to do that while we're in this craziness and uncertainty. There's lots of emotions and feelings that come up. I really do invite you to feel them. Totally dig in, feel them, but don't become attached to them. Don't be the emotion. Feel it, let it be there, but be aware that you are not that emotion. You have the power to just feel it. Watch it, and then let it go. Bring the soles of the feet together, the knees out wide. Coming into reclined body kanasana. Open those arms up over your head, reaching props and elbows if it feels good. And just take a couple moments to breathe here. Let go of the practice. We find it way harder to sit still right now. The meditation practice is kind of turned into more of a flowy power practice because it's hard to sit still with the thoughts. So we'll just do it together for a few moments here. I invite you to feel what's coming up. But then I invite you to be able to release it, to be able to let it go. You are not your thoughts, you are not your emotions. Be within your body and your breath. We'll hold here for about half a minute just to experience anything coming up and practice letting it go. When you feel ready from here, please come into Shavasana. So important, and it's the part I honestly skip the most at home. I'm going to come into Shavasana, arms open wide, legs open wide. You've probably got tons of space there at home. I will tell you, I miss being so closed in in our practices here at the studio so much. I can't wait till we're back to that. So I'm just going to lay here in this really empty, freezing cold studio and pretend that you're all here with me for a few moments. Land in that Shavasana, find all of the things that fill you up with joy and feel them. Give yourself permission to feel joy, to feel happy, to think about and picture yourself in the spaces and places where you feel the most happy and the most joy. And be in those spaces in your Shavasana. Allow the imagination to take over and be in the spaces that bring you joy. Let go of the rest, physically and mentally, and feel joy. Be in those places and spaces that fill you up with happiness.
Please stay where you are as long as you want. Keeping those eyes closed and jaw relaxed. I invite you to come back to that meditation. It's a nice, easy one. You only have to even do it for like two minutes at a time. Sit still, picture yourself in that really nice, hot, warm beach that you hopefully can go back to again in Port Dover soon, or maybe, you know, tropical after this crazy time is over. Mine lately has just been a really hot studio full of all of you guys practicing together. It was my space of joy, and I can't wait until it's like that again. So that's my meditation practice right now, just really last very long. But if you can sit still and be full of those spaces and places of joy, do it. That's important. It's a nice, important meditation practice when we're so uncertain. Another happy place is doing this with you guys every morning. I'm going to put this video online as well as another new one this afternoon. So please enjoy. Practice over and over and over again with me. And send me some challenges. I've been doing any internet challenges I can find online with movement stuff just to keep myself moving. I've also been posting lots of challenges with my quarantine buddy, Lee. What a great partner. Uh, we've been doing lots of challenges for you guys, so please join in and tag us, get them done. It's super fun, and I'll see you so soon. Namaste. Oh, my God.